about the pious and the grateful. A thank you marking recovery, good fortune or success. In Mexico, they're called ex voto, paintings delivered to the church, a devotion or gift after prayers were answered. Those who wanted their story to be known ordered these little paintings. They were made by artists that worked near the churches. People told them their story and they would interpret it, paint it, and wrote a few lines about it at the bottom of the painting. The idea of giving gifts and thanks has been around for thousands of years, and even as the surveys say that Mexico is becoming less religious, there are still those commissioning paintings to mark what they see as divine intervention. One of the artists most in demand is Alfredo Vilches, from a small studio in a working class area in the west of Mexico City. He's been painting for more than 30 years. He started after losing his job as a builder. I started doing what I thought I could do, drawing in small pieces of paper, cardboard, in soda lids, in sardine cans, anywhere. And at some point, I went to sell them on the street. And that was it. It's difficult to start as an artist. People give thanks for many things. Recovery from illness, a man being released from prison after a cow he was accused of stealing turned up, a prostitute who wanted more customers, praying for someone's return after the 9-11 attacks in New York. As an ex voto painter, I hear many stories, but my favorites are love stories, giving thanks for having found the love of their life because his partner came back when she thought it was over. Those are nice because the feelings are nice. There are always second chances. Alfredo's work is always in demand. He's had exhibitions in Canada, Germany, and even at the world-famous Louvre in Paris. But his greatest joy, creating for those who live nearby, for those who want a permanent reminder of the day when their prayers were answered. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.